Seeing none, let's go to discussion and from, uh, let's go to old business. Oh, pardon me. No let's go to First Avenue Bike Path. No updates at this time. Okay. Uh, old business, life safety items, capital improvement. Approval of life safety amendment. Um, as the board's aware, the... Uh, Where'd she go? Yeah, we're talking about the press. Um, okay. <laughs> so right now, the uh, temporary fencing has been installed. The um, the construction will hopefully begin mobilizing this week, and we can begin uh, doing some construction improvements in regards to the uh, special use permit and variance for the fences re in regards to the tennis courts and the. Um, parking lot that was the, uh, even though we received unanimous approval from the zoning board in Brookfield we the vote yesterday was one for in favor and five against for a variance for tennis courts and for the park and a special use permit for the parking lot uh, so the board will have to uh, look at all its options and reconsider um, the options we had previously discussed in relations to whether the tennis courts will stay on site go off site um, all those different choices so we have some discussion that will need to occur in future meetings in regards to that. Um, there is a finance advisory council meeting on the 21st. We looked at all the different parts of the project, both in the current project as well as in the future projects that would be applicable for life safety funds. And so tonight I'm recommending that the board approve a life safety amendment. I'm not sure why it's called life safety amendment 19. Carrie, Carrie was not able. It's just this way the system and the entering of the data into the state's Iowa system. But the uh, amendment 19 tonight that I'm asking for the board to approve would allow us to submit it to the state for review, for a second review, so that in the event we have to go back for life safety funds, we could use it, uh, apply it towards these items. Any questions for Kevin? We did. Why is it 19? Did we do 18 amendments already? No, no I just said. Just said it. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, that, that just the way the system it. is, it could be some from historically. Over I'm sorry. I thought it was listed as a special. All right. All right. Do I have a motion on this? Resolved. Board of Education, Township High School District 2A, Cook County, Illinois. Hereby approves Life Safety Amendment 19, as presented <clears throat> and discussed in the April 28, 2015 Board Agenda Packet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Tim Walsh. Any other discussion? Yeah, so yeah, let's. That's my question. So, can we get an understanding of, of what we're doing here, big picture? Um, and so that, you know, is, is the clock starting to tick on this? Or, no, so let's no, get a little background on this. So people there's, no, there's no uh, commitment for the board to use life safety funds or that we have life safety funds. Basically, the board approved the life safety survey back in October with all the life safety work that needs to be completed. Those those work items are categorized as A, B's, or C's. A's, you have one year to complete the work. B's, you have within five years, and C's are preferred, but also options. So the clock is already ticking? The clock is ticking on the life safety survey, which has, so the B items need to be completed by the end of the 18-19 school year. So all we are doing is going through the entire survey and anything that is either applicable from that life safety survey from the current project, to future projects, we're approving the amendments again and resubmitting to the state so that in the event we have to, in the future, we have to go for future funding. These amendments are approved and they're approved by the state and they're out there. This is not committing the board or anybody to using life safety funds or life safety bonds. Were the tennis courts part of the life safety? The tennis courts are part of the life safety, but the only amendments that I have on there tonight do not deal with asphalt or concrete. You have to do a separate hearing for those, and uh, I sent out my weekly update. We would do those in May. So the only three amendments we're approving tonight is the section of the roof on the existing building, the perimeter fencing around the entire athletic field, which was deemed a life safety, and the, the lighting for the, light, for the uh, athletic field because of the arcing and the shorts and some of the stuff that's happened since they were hit by lightning. Okay, so, so it's understanding it. You have to submit in to the state, get approval from the state that these, that they're in agreement that these are life safety issues in order if we needed to go out and get right. funding like, on life, under the caption of life safety, 
you have to have them approved first by the state before you can go get funding. For Correct. Them. It's like the second round of approval, so the state reexamines them before you go out and seek life safety funding. So does that mean we can't spend the money on it? We can't build it until? Right. Right. Okay. We can't retroactively apply their life safety. If we funds. choose to get life safety, you cannot funds. retro. You cannot uh -huh. retroactively apply life safety funds after the fact. Or we're, so these we're, are items that we haven't touched. We want to make sure that they qualify for life safety funds in the event we need to use life safety fund. You can't reimburse yourself. Is Correct. One of the phrases. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any I other have, questions? I, I have two questions. Uh, one is when you guys uh, came up with the template for how they're going to account for the cost. Uh, do do they also figure out a way to they have to record whether it's life safety or not because different elements of different parts of those are life safety and some are I had a little discussion with Kevin on it to make sure that as you know there's this breakout because you have this fine line that's spread across right right though and I said make sure that your architect and your construction manager has carved out their breakouts to make sure that what's life safety and what's not life safety. The construction manager we cannot carve out but like Built in, if you looked at our life safety report online, there's 10% contingency and there's 10% of architecture engineering fees. So we have to make sure if we use a portion of life safety funds somewhere down the line, that that portion of carries pay is coming out of there. Okay. For that. Any okay. other questions? I, it's not really about the amendment, but it's about the life safety. Uh, I think it would, that was actually a pretty good suggestion that. That lady gave us and I think it'd be pretty hard to pull the timeline out of what we've presented so far can you ask Joe to make a separate document that would show what the projected timeline on the work is okay all right and we can post it on the website yeah we would be able to probably do the projected work but uh, obviously with the exception of stuff that was well from it, last night yeah it's subject to change right, right. there you Mr. Gretchen? yes <coughs> yes Yes. Dr. King? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Yes.